I have previously showed you how to flash a custom ROM onto the OnePlus 3. And today I'm going to show you how to flash a custom kernel on the device. Usually it's the same process, but sometimes it can be different. And I want to show you both ways. So to start, you're going to need to download a custom kernel onto the OnePlus 3. As you can see, I chose the Elemental X kernel. Now I do want you to make sure to that your custom kernel is compatible with your device. For example, Elemental X makes a kernel for both Hydrogen OS as well as Cyanogen Mod 13. So be sure if you're running stock firmware, which is Hydrogen OS, that your custom kernel will run on that device. Or if you are running a CM13 based custom ROM, make sure that the custom kernel you're installing is compatible with that ROM. As always, I recommend that you go ahead and create a Nandroid backup beforehand and this will be very helpful in case you end up downloading the wrong version of the custom kernel or if that kernel does not work on your firmware so once you have downloaded the custom kernel onto the device we're gonna go ahead and reboot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode Now custom kernels can come in one of two different file types. One of the file types it can come in is a zip file and another file type that it can come in is an IMG file. If your downloaded custom kernel is in a zip file then the process is going to be just like installing a custom ROM. You're going to tap on install you're going to browse to and locate the custom kernel file and then you're going to swipe to, con to confirm the flash now if your custom kernel has come in an image file format an IMG you're going to need to tap this install image button then you'll see the IMG file, you'll tap it, and then you'll get a choice of where you want to install that image file and you want to select the boot partition because that is a boot image. Since Elemental X comes in a zip file, we're just going to install it just like a custom ROM. Swipe to confirm the process. Now as you can see here, it immediately booted me over into what they call the aroma installer not all custom kernels will look like that some custom kernels will install exactly like a custom ROM to where it will install and then it will ask you to reboot Elemental X comes with a number of different options for you to choose from and customize and that's what this aroma installer is so once we start to go through that this is just the typical aroma installer where they ask you a bunch of questions from here you get to select what you want the maximum CPU frequency is the stock one which is how it is by default is 1.5 gig but you can overclock it if you'd like right from this installer I'm gonna keep it as stock 
This is for the big cluster. I'm just going to keep it as stock, but again, you can choose the overclock method. Here you get to choose the I.O. scheduler. I'm just going to keep everything the default option, but if you like Noop or you like BFQ, you can just choose whichever you whichever you want here. Then we have some wake gestures like double tap to wake, sweep down the wake, sweep up the wake, sweep left, sweep right. This is all just customization options. Then we have sweep to sleep options. Then we have the ability to disable F-Sync or enable a backlight dimmer which will lower the screen brightness. Again, I'm just going to keep everything default. Then we tap the install Elemental X button. Again, this is a little more complicated than just a standard custom ROM. But again, it just walks you through the process. This enables you to set a number of variables like the maximum CPU without having to have a kernel application. Once we hit, we're finished, we just hit the finish button and then we're going to reboot the system. Again, it's nice that some of these have Aroma installers because again, you can choose some of those variables without having to install a kernel application. I like to manage my kernel from an application, so I'm going to show you that afterwards as soon as we boot back up. Now some of the kernel developers have their own companion application and if you want to help support the development of that kernel you can usually download a premium version. There's also some generic kernel modification applications. This one is one of my favorites. You can find these in the Play Store by just searching for kernel, kernel tuner, there's a bunch to choose from. And this is how you get to control the kernel. And that's the reason why people use custom kernels is because they can control it. So I can go in through here into the CPU and I can set, I can change the maximum frequency if I don't have a need for the phone to ever get to 2.1 gigahertz I can change this maybe set it down to 1500 whatever matches my personal use or I can increase the minimum frequency to, to increase performance you can change the CPU governor this is generally a very complicated process and it's something that you should research before just willy-nilly changing stuff because doing something like changing the CPU minimum frequency to uh, 1.5 gigahertz will keep your OnePlus 3 very hot. It will run the battery down. So these changes that you set here can really affect how your OnePlus 3 performs.